Are Kenmore stoves any good? If you want a Kenmore range, it was the highest rated coil top single oven range consumer reports reviewed. I don't know if I can afford that level of quality. At $450, it was even a best buy. What else do they have? The Kenmore Elite was the second best induction smooth top, and it was $200 cheaper than the GE profile that beat it. I cannot afford an induction cooktop, since the cookware costs nearly as much as the stove. Kenmore had the seventh best smooth top double oven. I don't need that many ovens. If I have to cook that much, I'll order out. Kenmore had the eighth best smooth top with a single oven. It wasn't in the top five, but it was still recommended by Consumer Reports. Can I afford that level of quality? It was only $850. You'd pay three times that for the fancily named GE Cafe. That's about like the Whirlpool brand problems, where the Whirlpool Gold is usually a poorer performer than the regular Whirlpool models unless you get the really cheap ones. The worst Kenmore Smooth Top Single Oven range was still better than the Whirlpool Gold. And at $800, half the price too. It sounds like Kenmore stoves are highly rated and reasonably priced. When you get to the dual fuel double oven ranges, they are still cheaper than the competition. Dual fuel is a waste, since if the gas is out, you can still cook via microwave. And if the power is out, just cook with a gas stove or camp stove. Kenmore didn't do so hot with its Kenmore Pro line of pro-style gas ranges. Buying an oven that usually graces a fancy restaurant doesn't make you a good cook. But buying a cheaper one means you have the money to buy takeout put it in your pans and serve what looks like really good cooking ones in a while.